Thanksgiving is around the corner and one house in county woman is prepping for her annual event. But this year she had some more obstacles than usual. Kayla Solomon has the story. For the third year of her Feed the City event, Fort Valley native Breon Banks decided to do it here at the Austin Theater. But she said this year will be different than the others. Growing up, I didn't have the best life, but my parents did the best that, that they could for me. Breon Banks says she knew from a young age that she wanted to give back to the city that raised her. It's always said that when I get in a position to give back, then it's God's work. That's what I want to do. Banks says it started when people in the community would ask her for extra food or plates. She posted on Facebook asking for people to help her serve Fort Valley. It took off. You know, that we fed about 279 the first year I did it. Second, last year I did it, we fed a little bit like 403. This year I'm pushing 500 or more. But this year's event almost didn't happen. You kept saying, um, no pulse, try again, no pulse, try again. And they tried almost nine, ten times. Something happened, but they wouldn't say. I remember them saying cold red. Banks says three months ago, her 26-year-old daughter, Arkevia, died suddenly from an undiagnosed respiratory issue. She says she had no desire to organize another event for this fall, but her family gave her the motivation, saying this year the event will be for the city and also in memory of her daughter. So it's like a confirmation. Uh, I got to praying about it, so I just put back on Facebook again. I said, hey, you got I know it last minute. Honestly, I wouldn't intend to feed the city, but my heart, I think it's God telling me to go ahead on and do it. And I had over 60 people again just jump right back up. And they was like, let's do it. I'm here. What you need? I'm by your side. Banks says there will be a special tribute as the food is served. And then we're going to do for her. We're going to release balloons during a part of the time we're doing that. Banks says although masks are not required, they are strongly recommended by people who come out to get food. In Fort Valley, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. That is absolutely beautiful. That story definitely touched my heart this evening. Now this event is going to be on Sunday, November 22nd from 1 to 5.